89 on up, homies, the show where you gon' get Cali history. It's told with respect and dignity. Spoken by the half so vividly. He's taking over the industry, giving y'all some Damo imagery. Damn you, if you ain't hitting them likes, come on, subscribe. Check out the channel when the bet that will make you decide. The tune in every chance to get is lit. And some of y'all can learn a bit from this gangster shit. What it do, loved ones, you know the motto, if you can, after the story's over there, hit us with a like, which is a thumbs up, and that'll let us know we kicking our stuff. I want to thank the homeboy G. Lee Deuce for the intro from the legendary monumental historical hip-hop album, Banging on Wax. You can reach him on Instagram at Solid from Day One. YouTube, what it do, loved ones? The young homeboy asked me. He said, G have. I said, what's up, loved one? He said, you got any uh, hood stories where the homeboys and homegirls was commuting out the hood and possibly got bust on? And I thought and said, yeah, homie. I got an old time classic, good one. And uh, at these times, homie, this was, the, this was the 90-ish, homie. And uh, it was around this time of the year, 90-ish. And at those times in the hood, it wasn't no social media or nothing. So homies would be full-time grinding, hanging at a spot, hustling, having the homegirls cook, playing dominoes, cards at the table, dice games, and in and off the spot and possibly going to get cracking. You know what I'm saying? These was the type of things that occurred back in that time without social media. So around this time, like I said, 90s, one of the homeboys wanted to go buy a car that he had seen previous to this day that we push out to go take him to go buy this vehicle he had seen. So like I said, uh, back in them days, homie, cars was cheap. You know, these Caprice Classics, Monte Carlos, and all this stuff we be buying. You can get these cars for $800, $900, $1,000, $1,500 of uh, 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 that money frame. So the homie had made his quote, got at the homegirl, asked the homegirl to take him to go get the car. So like I said, without it being social media and so much extra entertainment, hell of an entertainment was to us was to pile up in one car and commute and go out and hang out, hoot ride and run the street. That was big time fun. So with the homeboy paying the homegirl to take him to LA to go get this car, it's about three other homeboys, we pile up. So we make it five deep in the vehicle to push out to LA to go grab this vehicle that the homie wanted to purchase. So in these times, homie, also, let me remind everybody, we didn't have Ubers. It was just RTD and, and yellow taxi cabs, homie. And uh, if you was twisting and had people kind of like making extra little moves, they used to have like ticket vouchers. And uh, if one was able to collect these books, you was able to pay these yellow cabs with these little uh, tickets they would give, like money tickets to pay the taxi. So anyway, to dive into this story, homie, some more, we, we, we pile up in the car, we five deep, we going to LA to get the homeboy a vehicle that he has seen. So before we do that, we do the normal hood ritual routine. We uh hit Texaco gas station, gassed up the vehicle, and then we had pushed across the street in our turf from Texaco and got some uh some liquor. And at that time, we were drinking Night Train. And I I know in my turf, I don't know in, in, in any other turfs, maybe everybody, you know, different turfs was doing this, but the bottles of liquor we was drinking, homies knew how to peel all the letters, scratch all the letters off, and make the hood on the Night Train bottle. So the homies would scratch all the letters off and make it say NHP Express with the Night Train. So we go over there, we get a couple bottles of Night Train, 
some cherry Kool-Aid, shake those up, scratch the bottles up, make it say NHP, and we take off rolling blunts, drinking, driving, and west side riding, homie. So uh, as we, you know, bust a U-turn from the liquor store, cut on off, get on Manchester, slide up Manchester, uh, we laughing, who ride, having a good time and drinking, homie. You know, sightseeing, looking out the window, hollering at female, banging on different dudes in traffic or on the bus, you know, making a day out of it, homie. So anyway, uh, as us sliding up Manchester, homie, you know, uh, sightseeing, hitting all these other little cross streets, you know, uh, I think we get up to like a Avalon maybe or Maine or something like that. And now, like, I want to emphasize again, dudes went on Ubers. It went, that didn't exist. So it was RTDs and taxi. So as us pushing up and arriving on one of these bus stops at one of these red lights, we see a G-Rip on the bus stop with a female, homie. And he surely templed up. He got a blue puffy type jacket up on and he surely templed up, one kind of hanging in his face, son. He jeeved up, homie. We can't really tell what pants and shoes he got on because he behind the bus stop bench. But from the jacket from the top, he banged out. Like I said, blue puffy coat, surely templed up, and he's standing there with a the female. I guess he wait. They either catching the bus or he waiting with her for her to catch the bus. So as we pull up at this light, everybody glue in on this fool, homie. So the homies get, you know, we chunking up the B, we banging, we dissing and everything in our youthful, immature minds. We dissing and who riding and everything, but he ain't saying nothing, homie. And it seemed like for some reason, this light was taking a little extra time than normal, homie. So as us banging, who riding and talking all that smack, you see his girl kind of like grabbed his chest, like, you know, put her her hand on his chest to like, kind of like, you know, to hold him back in case he wanted to flex because he kind of was like, you know, had a little funny look on his face. So the homie like, yeah, nigga, nigga this, that. Yeah, nigga, nigga, I'll do this to you. Nigga, I'll do this to you, nigga. And he blew that fool a kiss, homie. Mwah. When he did that, homie, that must have set the rip off. Like everything the homie was saying he a do, fool was letting it roll off of him. As soon as the homie like, nigga, I'll do this to you, this, that, nigga, nigga, give me a kiss, nigga. Yeah. When the homie did that, homie, man, that fool pushed old girl out the way, homie, and got the sparking, homie. Bow, 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 bow. And lit us up in traffic, homie. The home girl stabbed out, <laughs> hit a quick right, homie. Damn near hit a park car and everything. So the homie like, smash out, smash out. So we get a couple blocks. We pull over to make sure, you know, nobody get hit or nothing, homie. And uh, so when we jump out, check everybody, everybody good. But we noticed the homegirl, one of the passengers on the, on, the, on the passenger side window, get popped out and, and, and on the back side of the passenger side of the car. The window get popped out, but everybody good. So, homie, that detoured us from getting the car. We wind up having to hit Alameda, search up, search up and down Alameda, get a good price on the window for the home girl and wind up taking it back to the turf. But 89 on up, G stuff, not G stuff. And that's the time we was commuting through LA, going to get the homeboy vehicle and seeing a G rip with a female on the bus stop, surely templed up, flied up. And the homie kind of like, you know, got out of hand, talking to him and maybe sex playing him, talking about what he would do to him and blew a kiss. That ticked that G rip dude off, man. And he got the spark and sent it uh, to us, homie. Uh, but uh, G stuff is uh, not G stuff, homie. And we're going to keep sending history. But I learned from that story and that event that anytime I'm in traffic, either by myself or with homies, and we taking care of something, let's make that priority to take care of something and not to have nothing else detour us up. Because uh, you can either go to jail, lose your life, or anything by not setting out on a mission that you left to go accomplish, homie. But uh, 89 on up, once again, G stuff, not G stuff, and we're going to keep sending history.